hello students welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now let's solve this problem which says that collars a and b are connected by 525 meter long wire and can slide freely on a frictionless rod if a force p equals to 341 newtons in j is applied to collar a determine the tension in the wire when y equals to 155 mm and in part b it is said that the magnet we are required to determine the magnitude of force q uh, required to maintain the equilibrium of the system so you are asked to find the tension in this a b cable and we are asked to find this force q so as we can see that uh, this collar a is moving up and down so this rod in the vertical direction can provide the support in the x and in the z direction since the rod is moving freely so the rod is unable to support this collar in the y direction so the support reactions at a will be ax and az and similarly the tension in the rope will be acting like this if we cut this rope somewhere here so let's say that we cut this rope so we will have the tension in cable a b like this and this this will be t a b so from point a the tension in the rope will be acting from a to b and at b the tension will be acting from b to a since the rope can only pull so now we are asked to find the tension in cable a b and q force so we we are required to find t a b and q now we we need to write all these forces as a cartesian vector and then we need to add up all the components and uh, to find the sum of all the x components sum of all the y and the sum of all the z at a and then at b since we to find the tension in a b we are given this force p so first of all we will consider this point a for equilibrium so we need to write the tension in cable a b as a cartesian vector so tension a b as a cartesian vector will be equal to t a b magnitude times the unit vector from a to b so the unit vector from a to b is equal to t a b and the unit vector from a to b is the position vector from a to b divided by the magnitude of the position vector so now is we know that the position vector always tells us the position of one point relative to another so if we are talking about the position vector from a to b so the position vector from a to b will tell us the position of point b relative to a so and the magnitude of the position vector always tells us the direct di distance between th these two points so now we are given colors a and b are connected by 525 meter long wire so the direct distance between point a and b is 525 mm so this means that the magnitude of the position vector from a to b is 525 mm that is the length of the wire so we can say that the position vector the magnitude of the position vector from a to b is the length of the wire which is 525 mm long so now here in this we know the magnitude of a b which is the length of this wire so we can write the t a b cartesian vector this is equal to t a b magnitude and now the position vector from a to b we will use the same method to find the position vector from a to b we need to travel from point a in x y and z in order to reach this point b so from point a we need to travel this y units in the negative y so we will write minus y j so we will reach point o and then from point o we need to travel 200 mm in the positive x and then we will travel z units in the positive z so 200 in the positive i and z units in the positive k and then divided by the magnitude which is 525 mm there is no need to convert the unit since this position vector is in mm and this magnitude is in mm they will cancel out so we will get the 
Cartesian vector in term in in the units of uh, force. So now we can write this uh, Cartesian vector. We need to multiply this T A B with each component and divide it by this magnitude. So we can write that T A B Cartesian vector is two hundred divided by five hundred and twenty five T A B I minus Y into T A B divided by five hundred and twenty five j plus z into t a b divided by 525 k so this is the cartesian vector representation of the tension from a to b and similarly we can write uh, this uh, support reactions at color a x uh, we can say that the resultant support at point a is a vector which will be equal to a x the x component of the reaction at a is in the positive x we have assumed that a x is in the positive x that is parallel to the positive x this is in the positive i and the z component is in the positive z and the j component is zero so this is zero j plus a z into k and similarly we are given p vector so p vector is in the positive y that is in the positive j so 341 so this means that 0 i plus 341 j plus 0 k so this is in newton now since point a is in equilibrium we can say that the sum of all the components in the x will be equal to zero and the sum of all the components in the j will be equal to zero and the sum of all the components in the k will be equal to zero so now since we are given uh, the magnitude of this force p in the j so we need to add up the j components so once we add up the j components we will get the t a b the tension in a b magnitude so we will add up the sum of all the components in the y that must be equals to zero or we are going to add up the j components so this we can write that this is minus y divided by 525 t a b plus this zero plus this so plus zero plus 341 and this is equal to zero so now from this we can write that t a b this is minus y divided by 525 this will be equal to minus 341 minus will cancel out and cross multiplying with uh, 525 divided by y we will get t a b equals to 341 multiplied by 525 divided by y now in the problem statement we are given uh, y it is said that determine the tension in wire when y is equal to 155 mm so now if we put y equals 155 we will be able to find the tension in cable ab so the tension in cable ab is 341 multiplied by 525 divided by 155 mm so again remember that there is no need to convert the units this 525 is in mm this is in mm 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 will cancel out and we will be left with the units of newton since 341 is in newtons so tab equals to 341 multiplied by 525 divided by 155 so the tension in cable ab is 1155 newtons now in the second part of the problem we are asked to find q we, we are required to find this q so now considering this point b we need to write all the forces as a cartesian vector again so at b we have t a b but in the opposite direction so this is that t a b i will copy this t a b and then we will uh, invert the sign so this will become minus this will become plus and this will become minus so let me copy this this t a b we will write that this is our t a b at point q but the sign will change we will have this is minus this will become plus and this will become minus since at uh, point b t a b is in the opposite direction and similarly we have um 
the support reaction at B. So we have BX and BY. So we can write that B is a Cartesian vector is BX in the positive I plus BY in the positive J plus 0K. And similarly, that Q force is acting. This Q force is in the positive Z. So it's I and J components are 0. So this is 0 I plus 0 J plus Q K. So now we are interested to find the magnitude of this force Q. So this Q only appears in the K components. So again, the sum of all the K components must be equal to 0. So the sum of all the K components or we can say the sum of all the Z components must be equal to 0 since point A and B both are in equilibrium. So we can write that this plus this plus this, this must be equal to 0. So minus Z divided by 525 TAB plus 0 plus Q equals to 0. Or we can say that Q is equal to plus Z divided by 525 TAB. Now we know the magnitude of TAB which is this 1155 Newton but we need to find the Z. We need to find this Z. Now we are given the length of this AB or we are given the magnitude of this AB. So in terms of X, Y and Z we can write this AB as a Cartesian vector. So let me write this AB as a Cartesian vector. So now from A we need to travel um, Y units in the negative Y so which is minus or we can directly write from here this is the position vector from A to B. Let me write the position vector from A to B as 2200i minus yj plus zk. And now using these components, we can find the magnitude. So the AB magnitude will, will also be equal to 200 square plus y square plus z square. So under the square root, we can always use the Pythagoras theorem. And this is, we know that this is the length of that rope, which is 525. So this means that this is 525. And if we take square on both sides of equation, so this will be like this. This will cancel out. And we will be left with 200 square plus y square plus z square is equal to 525 square. So this is 200 square plus y square plus z square is 525 square and now we are given y which is 155. So if we substitute y equals 155 we will be able to find z magnitude. So let me find the z length. So that will be z square will be equal to 525 square. z square will be equal to 525 square minus 200 square minus y square. So minus 200 square minus y square, y is 155. And taking the square root on both sides, we will be able to find the z in z length in mm. So 525 square minus uh, 200 square minus 155 square. This gives us 460 mm. So Z is 460 mm. So this Z is 460 mm. So this means that point A and B are 460 mm apart along the Z direction. So now we know the Z. Once we know the Z, we can substitute that Z value here. We will be able to find that Q. So Q is equal to 460 divided by 525. We know TAB, which is 1155. So this is equal to 460 into 1155 divided by 525. This gives us force Q of magnitude 1012 Newton. So this is that force, uh, the tension in that cable AB, which is 1155 Newton and the force Q which is applied at color, which is applied at, to the color at point B. So this is the solution of this particular problem.
I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Engineering Statics by Baron Johnston.